one of the other new things that we've heard a lot about um, is is Web three, right? And and uh, uh, which you know uh, NFTs and uh, crypto and and everything else. And 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 now people um, believe that Web three could have uh, greater applications uh, in 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 areas like recruitment in and and, and that you know we we probably just scratched the surface. Um, again. Uh, my knowledge of this is, is extremely sketchy and, and I have a feeling that a lot of people are still trying to get their hands around what Web3 is, what it means and how it will change things. So can you please explain this whole Web3 buzz that's going around? Well, I mean, it, it, it's all early and nascent and it's exciting. Uh, well, let me put it this way. Uh, you know, I've always uh, you know, been a fan of the web and a lot of Google was built on the uh, open web and and you know the web has gone through uh, very exciting phases before. Uh, when we went from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0, a lot of it was the web shifting from content to rich interactive applications on the web, and that's what made things like Google Maps or Flickr or you know possible on the web. And you know to me, Web 3 is early, but you know I think there is excitement around you know, distributed architecture, uh, maybe a decentralized architecture, uh, you know, payments built in more natively into the web and and a set of interesting ideas like that, you know, uh, but, you know, the, the web is a community. So at the end of the day, the web is going to evolve and what that evolution is, uh, you know, is is not, it's, it's by the people who are actually building the web and contributing to the web. So, you know, you'll have to wait for it to play out. Uh, you know, I always watch it with wonder and I'm excited anytime the web is trying to evolve. It's a fascinating uh, moment. And, you know, you know, as a company, we think about how do we adapt? How can we contribute to it? And and so that's the lens with which I look at it. Some, someone I was speaking to the other day, um, again, to try and understand what Web3 was, um, in the course of the conversation mentioned that um, it, it's like your own private patch of the internet, um, where and, and that as a result, uh, it could be safer, it could be more private, um, and, and you could pretty much define the rules there. Do you think that's an accurate way of uh, looking at it, or at least one facet of it? Look, I think it's too nascent for me to exactly specifically discuss how it'll turn out, but I think people are, there are various proposals out there, and, you know, I think some of the exciting aspects of decentralization is, you know, being able to, uh, you know, uh, get in, get to an architecture like what you're talking about. Uh, we have elements of privacy today. So when you have encrypted communications, right, that's a way of uh, privacy on the web and the web supports, uh, you know, uh, protocols like encryption and so standards like encryption. And so I think you will see evolution along multiple dimensions. But to me, you know, it is, uh, it's a democratic evolution of ideas and out of which a future web will emerge. And, you know, and that's what will be exciting to see. At Alphabet, what are you most excited about? What What are the things you're working on that you say, like, this is really going to change the world? You know, about, uh, you know, five years ago, you know, I, I set the company on an AI first approach. You know, I, I, I felt we are at a point of inflection around AI and it's one of the most profound technologies we are building. And it would it will literally go on to transform everything we do. So A, we have tried hard to both build AI in a cutting edge way, actually deploy it in our products, be it search or maps to build more helpful features. And, and I think the potential there is uh, immense and we see it across areas. So in healthcare, you know, I think we will be able to better and earlier detect cancer, as an example. Uh, as DeepMind has shown with AlphaFold, we can accelerate drug discovery over time by better modeling protein structures. So I find, you know, AI is very profound and something transformational across everything we do. And and but but again, we are very early, and and so that you know, when I take a long term outlook. Uh, I want to make sure as a company, we are, we've all, I've always prided on the deep approach to technology we have, and, and that's something we are doing. We, 
I'm also excited that we are through Google Cloud, we're bringing it to all companies in the world and providing APIs. So I think it's not just about transforming how our products work, but it's really helping other industries transform. So it's a big trend I'm excited by as well. And as part of that, uh, you know, we, we earlier talked about how it will end up playing an important role in the future of computing, ambient computing, AR. And, and so we are interested in building out that experience. And I would say in a time frame beyond that, we are barely scratching the surface of areas like quantum computing. And you know, Google is again leading leading the way in quantum computing. Uh, and it, it'll take time, but it again opens up entire new potential set of applications which you know classical computing cannot solve. So these are all some of the trends I'm very excited by. <laughs>